Worth Partnership Project is a flagship project of the European Commission under the COSME program of the European Union for the competitiveness of small and medium-sized enterprises. Considered a flagship program, Worth becomes the only European project where designers, SME manufacturers, and tech providers converge around the development of innovative and design-oriented project ideas that help them remain competitive through the incubation support provided. In the framework of the last year of Europe 2020 agenda, Worth is proud to present the results of the second round of 62 partnership projects committed to the development of a more smart, sustainable, and inclusive growth through design solutions. Within Worth, an ecosystem is created where designers and SMEs can work together in solutions covering the key challenges of the European Union, one of them being circular economy and resources efficiency. One in every three participating projects addresses any of the challenges related to the circular economy and resource efficiency. Worth is a believer in a fashion industry that values communities, the environment, creativity, and profit in equal measure. When discussing innovation and market potential, the circular economy is rapidly becoming one of the most used terms in the European fashion and lifestyle industries. It provides a guideline for the industry when making investments in production technology, product development, and in respect to the selection of materials. However, designers and the industry still face tough challenges in the transition from a traditional linear production and conception model to a circular one. This is the reason why a circular model is a relevant feature within Worth. In this way, we can connect resource efficiency, production and elimination of waste, and new commercial opportunities which are valorized when taking some circular design decisions. Recently, we have seen the Global Fashion Agenda 2020 commitment as the first initiative presented, and according to the GAP report, only 9% of our businesses are circular nowadays. Thus, if we do not act in the design phase to support new and innovative opportunities, the possibility of closing this loop is increasingly reducing. Hi there, my name is Maurizio Montalti. I'm a designer and I'm uh, the founder and creative director of uh, Officina Corpuscoli, being it a, a transdisciplinary design research practice based in Amsterdam uh, in the Netherlands. My partner in this project is Mogu, uh, which is an Italian innovation-driven company, uh, also developing its own technologies and standardizing those towards industrialization and towards the introduction at market level of uh, uh, technically performing solutions resonating with the rhythm of the larger ecosystem. All this done uh, led by processes rooted in biofabrication. Um, actually, we have uh, in common a passion for circularity uh, being it the valorization of uh, uh, residual streams deriving from other production processes, other, other value chains, to be transformed uh, through different technologies into high value. And the technology that we are here tackling as part of this uh, World Partnership project is rooted in fungal fermentation. Hi, I'm Mila from Taoko from a Helsinki and Berlin-based fashion company. We collaborated together with the wonderful family-owned Estonian sewing company called Rupix for the World Partnership Project. I founded Taugo together with my lifelong best friend Kaisa in 2008. We share common values for the environment and sustainability. And our background is actually in art research, so we are art researchers, but we wanted to do something that has more immediate effect on the environment and on the society. And this is why we started to work with fashion. At the very beginning, we had an intern whose first profession was a nurse. 
She showed us how textile maintenance system and logistics actually work in Finland. This is where we found textile service companies. So textile service and rental companies rent textiles for healthcare, but also for hotels. The network is European wide. When we found these materials, we knew that we want to work with them. We want to reuse these materials for fashion. Tons of these textiles are wasted every day. For the World Partnership project, we wanted to create a code that is versatile and timeless. This capsule code is something that took us to the premium fashion level with the design and with the production. So into the fashion world that reused materials can actually be something for this level of, of fashion, of the design, of the production. Amaya Saliba, the founder of a startup focused on combining fashion and circular economy. I noticed a gap between the creation of a product and its end life. And in the last few years, I have been trying to find solutions for waste and underutilized clothes and accessories. In many categories, consumers have moved away from traditional ownership to newer ways in which to access products. We are talking Airbnb, Netflix, swap feeds. My question was, how would a transition from product to service look like for the fashion industry? And how to optimize a circular product to perform in such an environment? I partnered with Lena Fashion Library in Green Buzz, Amsterdam. I selected two innovative and circular materials to test. Ananas Anam, Pignatex, a vegan alternative to leather made from pineapple waste, and Waste to Wear, Peach Skin Twill, a woven textile made from recycled pet bottles. I went straight to design. My aim was to develop a new strategy and design the first ever circular products meant specifically to be durable and reuse. Based on the insight I gathered from my work with Lena Fashion Library and the advice of my mentor, assigned by Worth, I designed two prototypes. First, a jacket made from Pignatex. And second, a kimono dress made from waist to wear, and for which I created an ecological print. I am Zuzana Kralova, based in Spain. I am designer and researcher, focused on technology and sustainability. My Italian partner is Blue Marine. They are also researchers in sea areas, but first of all, they are fishermen. All these adventures started by the email of Emanuele writing me. They liked the aesthetic of my studio, and they were searching for the application of their fish skins to some kind of product design. And I thought, the idea of recovering sustainable the fish skins for design was amazing. And I imagine seeing my feet in the crystalline waters of Maldivas, fish is just touching me and moving around. That image stuck in my mind. And I started to obsess with how to apply the fish skins for footwear. My inspiration started with the study of the shape and proportion of Japanese wave Kanagawa. The heritage of craftsmanship we have here is immense and I counted with professionals for every step in the process. Hi, we are Studio Plastique. We initiated the project Common Sense about three years ago. It started as a research into the abundant resources available as trash from e-waste. For design, material is an important ingredient, so it occurred quite naturally to us to start by questioning the resources that are needed for the making of new products. We realized also that sand traps everything in terms of importance for our current civilization. 
Sand, in fact, is the third most consumed resource on Earth after air and water. It is commonly perceived as a rather banal material. We enjoy it on our beaches, but if you know it makes our electronic devices function, our homes light and warm, our communication fast and ever faster, to name a few. With the help of Worth and our partner Arkham Glass, we were able to exploit the unique properties of the waste glass to create attractive products, where standardized processes have failed so far. We have let the glass lead our way, form followed material, you can say. The vases and hooks we designed carry that DNA, specific to those local materials of global heritage all while reducing the impact on the environment in comparison with the use of raw natural resources. Hello, welcome to the Beneficial Design Institute in our Oceanware project, designing innovative swimwear for material reincarnation. Good for the ocean, good for health. With Professor Friederike von Wedel-Parloff as the founder and CEO, myself, Stephanie Bartz, as the project manager, and together with a network of experts and our knitwear partner Tamsilk in Finland, we are developing swimsuits to be safe for humans and the marine environment. The ocean wear swimsuit battles the plastic pollution issue at the forefront of what is achievable in science and trade. We strive for a holistic approach by a combination of innovative 3D knitwear technology for optimized climate control, comfort and body shaping effects, but also avoiding pre-consumer waste. My name is Gabriela Vespermi and I am the designer of the Layers technology. Together with my team we have been working on the perfection of my own material research. Our aim in this project was to develop a material from base leather that can be used for many purposes. Shoe sole is a very critical element so we choose this to test our new material. During the partnership, Impelza was supporting the technology with materials. Material research and development was fulfilled in our Budapest-based studio, helped with high-quality materials from Valencia. For the experimentation, we used leather and more than 20 kg of waste material. The combination of different surface treatment, leather types, format and size gives us a huge variety of test material. By the end of the project, we developed our own material which can be used for purposes in the fashion industry. We also tested new technologies to find a holistic solution between craft and industrial manufacturing. We are looking forward to keep on working and find the best usages for our layer technology. Hi, this is footwear designer Benjamin John Hall calling in from Lockdown Central here in London. Um, my project was with um, a lady called Maria Moreira, um, who was actually a footwear agent based in Portugal. And um, our project came about um, mainly um, because of the amount of pollution um, that occurs in the footwear industry. Um, there's 300 million pairs of shoes going to landfill every year. And um, we wanted to think about some ways in which we could address this, uh, mainly to make shoes from um, renewable sources and also from um, biodegradable materials. Um, so that is uh, what we set about to do. and. Um, for the most part, we have we've achieved it. Um, 
Working with Maria has been an absolute pleasure. Um, she knows all of the factories in uh, the Porto region in Portugal and um, she's a real doer and uh, she has um, without a doubt really um, helped to to move um, this project forwards. Um, her um, expertise in, in manufacturing and um, mine in design have um, really worked well together. Welcome to the Peterson Stoop Studio. We take apart second-hand shoes and give them a new life. We produce all our shoes in Amsterdam, the Netherlands, and sell them worldwide to the most beautiful shops and boutiques and on our own website. We use veg tan leather, but we're always searching for more sustainable materials. The Worth Partnership gave us the opportunity to work with Chiffons Fondi, a sole factory in Italy who works with TPU, a fully recyclable rubber. We sent Chiffons Fondi our design, which we crafted by hand. By making a mold from our prototype, they could recreate it. Givans Fondi also made a leather and TPU sole for us. The Worth Partnership supported us in our mission to take a step forward to more sustainable materials and more professional partnerships within the European Union.